Look where I'm building a pond today. We are building an indoor pond for Jay at Prehistoric Pets today. Whoa. Come on, now you gotta get dirty around here. Oh. <laughs> and he's looking like, oh, I'm a turtle guy. That thing's got hey, a I big man. Oh, that was hurt. That was. <laughs> okay, we got prehistoric pets. I've seen this guy's YouTube channel. And he said he's got some ponds he wants worked on. But look at this. Look at the turtles. Look at this thing. This is awesome. Look at how many rider sliders we got. Look at these guys. So tame. Look at that. Big soft shell. Look at the size of that soft shell. That's the same as Logan has. Oh, I see. Out okay, I see that. Yes. Yeah. Are you going to build it up with paving block or? I don't have a clue. I mean, okay. I, if I build it, I'm going to build it one way. If you build it, I don't. You're the pond guy. You're the pond guy. Pond guy. It's. There he is, right on time. <laughs> Had to sleep. You all stretched out and ready to build a pond? Up, ready to go. Unfortunately, we're gonna be inside, I guess. In Los Angeles. Yeah. What up, Diaz? How you doing, Jay? Pretty excited. I can see it. You're here nice and early. I'm looking forward to it, man. These guys have been working hard. So it's all coming together. I think so. Good. Now I'm gonna watch you guys work your magic. What do you mean what? We need some strong muscles to help us. <laughs> so this is the man, the myth, and the legend oh, right here. This Ed, this is Jay. Mad scientist of right? Yeah. <laughs> They've been prepping for you guys. Got a wall in it. Sweet. It looks pretty ready to me. Yeah. I see the pile of goodies showed up. Where'd all this cool stuff come from? Did Santa Claus or what? Yeah, it came right what from Aqualad. Like right. Christmas here. <laughs> and he's building the blocks right down there. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> The idea is that eventually, at some point, we, uh, we have some kind of ledger. Sun bathing yeah, exactly. area. Yeah. Like right, right in this area. I, okay. know, I saw, I saw one of your features there that are for the filtration. Yes. So I figured it would either go under or part of it, or if we want to get the biofall. So we have to get to that for maintenance. Right. Um, for cleaning. So as long as we can get to it, but absolutely. Yeah, and I figured that wouldn't be the hardest thing to figure out. It's much better to wait until we get all this stuff figured out, and you know, get all of our structures in here. And then we can figure out that sunning area for all the animals. Right, right. So how many turtles are you talking about having? About a hundred. Oh wow. I'm gonna show you my, wow. my pond I built 30 years ago. Actually, that's not true. I've been in business for 30 years. Mm. I put that in about 23 years ago. Okay. Wow. So this is, Look at that guy. <laughs> Isn't that cool? I, I held him. Holy cow. That's he got a bunch crazy. of chicken around his mouth. Look at that. Uh, uh, I'm impressed that Craig can lift that. <laughs> he was looking for another piece of chicken today. <laughs> oh, you didn't even, you, you can at least wipe your mouth, bro. <laughs> oh, wow. How about that? Does it hurt awesome. anybody? Pretty cool, huh? Water mm. yeah. Isn't that cool? Yeah. <laughs> Jeez. How cool is this? You see why I like this place? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> I saw these guys. Oh, yeah, yeah. A little, a little bit over Like slithery than heavy. Like you can pick Here it up. Here we go. Real slithery. There we go. Oh, you think this guy's living the dream? Living my dream for sure. Amen, <laughs> brother. Amen. And the funny part is when I built this, I, moved, I was moving in from the other, my other location, which was just like a little bit block away. Yeah. And uh, I was like, almost had no money. And I, every every time I ran out of money trying to build this place, I'd work on this because I, I never worked in concrete before. Uh -huh. And so I, when I got all done and finished it, everybody thought, what are you doing? You're, you're wasting all your energy on this pond. And really, honestly, a pond has been a focal point of my whole concept. Little kids come, they interact, they feed the fish. You know, they get an experience watching the turtles swim around the fish and do all the things. And so at the end of the day, it ended up to be the masterpiece of the whole brain child. Oh, really. sure. Ponds are amazingly communal for people. It's the most biologically yeah. diverse habitat on the planet in freshwater ecosystem. People, so, Having a second one is, is I'm pretty excited about Mr. Pond Guy. I'm pretty, <laughs> pretty happy with the 
come making this happen. It's something I would have put off for a long time. People get so upset when they can't feed these ones. Yeah. Because they're like, oh man, I want to interact with feed them. But I the water it can only handle so much. We're gonna look at some of the other water systems they have, even this one for the dosing systems and sure. just from a biological standpoint. The last time I was here you had some Paku in here. See that? See that Paku? Look at the size of this Paku. Look. Look at that. See him? No, and I lost the last one oh. that crash. I had some of those Paku for over 20 years. Wow. Sounds like uh, turtles did weren't too affected by it. Like, no, no, no. no. They're, 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 yeah, they're not going to be as, as quite as effective as uh, you know, fish. I'll have Ed look at and assess all the water that you have in this and what yeah. we can do, you know, with the alligators, everything. Okay, do, do you think that maybe we should go build a water feature? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I can't wait. Dave, I thought you were going to have this thing done. <laughs> you guys are I appreciate it. We got a crowd. We got the supervisor. The head, the head supervisor. Go get me a camera. We've got this pond build going on today. Bringing in you guys. What have you guys got staged and ready to go? Aquascape sent over a couple pallets of all the materials. Jay from Prehistoric Pets was going to build a wall. He just ran out of time, so I had to send my guys in here and we slap the wall together. We're gonna build this whole thing today. Hey Amen. Let's get started, buddy. Right. <laughs> right. We're putting in heavy duty fabric, EPDM liner, another layer of the heavy duty fabric, covering everything up with our aqua box. We're gonna position our biological filter where that's gonna go. We're also gonna position our skimmer. We're gonna connect all that stuff up. Once we have all of those aqua blocks in place, we're gonna start setting our big boulders around the edges. Um, we're gonna bring in that river stone and then we're gonna start figuring out where those uh, those basking areas are. So behind all of this plywood here, this is all wood dust, correct? Yes. So this is all gonna be taken down after construction. It actually is not. Oh, it's not? There's a law that you can't have animals in windows. Oh, wow. And Get so out. I said, I'm gonna do some planting. Okay. This is my plan. All right, got it. Then you're gonna have some hanging mites or something over correct. here for all the animals. Very cool. So you're gonna have hanging plants and stuff to create a neat little backdrop. Once we get all of our stone in here, let's fill it up with water. How many days is this gonna take us, Eddie? One day. Whoa! <laughs> Helpers. <laughs> yeah, for sure. This is good. Yeah. Very good. Yeah. We're also thinking of using some of the aqua blocks, taking these, standing them up. This is my contribution so far. <laughs> Going up, having this all the way against the wall. Okay. So these things are also used um, for living walls. Oh. So you could take these panels apart, stuff them full of sphagnum moss, put, uh, put plants in here, and then what we could do is actually have uh, one of the plumbing lines dribble yeah, water dribble down water. through there, which would be an incredible fill. I'm sure Jay is going to like that. It would be awesome, man. It would just be, you know, lush. And we could actually even go higher. We could go up higher, and then he's going to fill in between with all this fake water. Extra lax, I was kind of all kind of work out. So that'll keep the water in place. It'll add extra filtration, but this will give him something to to, uh, to attach to it. And that's part of the art, because we have never drawn yeah, that. Either. This is why we don't do drawings right here, because we're just, we're artists, we're working with what we got, we're figuring it out as we go, and guess what? It always somehow works out in the end. <laughs> Eric is afraid of snakes. <laughs> Hold it flat. Okay. New Mercedes? Oh, <laughs> Well, I kind of lost my language. <laughs> Be careful, that's a, that's a scary one. Look at this. It is 3.30, we're washing down. The rocks, and basically we're going to be ready to start filling it up as soon as it's done, right? Yeah. Ed, what happened to your aqua block uh, living wall idea? He's going to take that and cut these in half and mount them or hang them from the top. Mm. Do that after the fact. Okay.
Is that Jay around? He is. Tell him that. Tell him that. The pond guy is here. The pond guy? Yeah, I don't know what that means, right?